Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how we can separate the IP camera system from your existing network. If your network video recorder has two network ports, then you can connect one of the network ports to the switch which is working with your cameras and connect another network port to your existing network. You can reference my another video how to use the dual port network video recorder to separate the camera system. Here we just have got one network port from the network video recorder and we got 24 port PoE switch. Let's say we just need to work with the eight IP cameras, which means we got another 16 PoE port. We can work with other IP devices such like this access point or VOIP phone. In this case, we are going to use the VLAN. So what is the VLAN? VLAN is just like the room number. Let's say you got several rooms. Each room with the room number, like the first room is 101, the second room is 102. And after we create the v, we need to create the VLAN on this switch, just given the room number. And then the second thing is we need to assign some of the port, I mean this network port, to the room to this room. So when the device like the camera connect to one of the rooms, and the switch will just provide, I mean adding the room number to the data. So when the data try to travel through this switch, they will check the VLAN first, which is like the room number first. If the room number doesn't match, they cannot talk to each other. Okay, now first let me just connect the Mac to this switch so we can access the web, web server and we can just create a VLAN, also assign some of the port to the VLAN. This is the Ethernet cable, so I, I'm going to pick one of the port. So we need to move to the map. I'm, I will record the screen so we can see everything clear. This is the web server of the switch. First, let's move to the VLAN. Here we got a VLAN configuration. After we take this one, we can, you can see the create, remove VLAN. We also have the assigned ports for the VLAN. These two we are going to need for this setup. And now let's just go for the create, remove VLAN and click the VLAN ID configuration. Before we create the new VLAN, we can see there's already have one default VLAN called VLAN ID number one. This VLAN is always be here. You, we cannot remove the default VLAN. That's also the reason why when we work with the manager switch, you don't need to configure anything. If you work, you just plug the device to each, some of the port because we already have the default VLAN. Okay, we are not going to use the default VLAN. We will create a VLAN like, let's say 101, just like the room number. And just for the IP camera, the name, you can pick up any name. And the VLAN type, we're going to use the universal VLAN and click apply. Now we can see the IP camera's VLAN is being created. And it's just like we have set up the room with the room number. The second thing we need to do is just we need to assign this port, put this port into this room, this VLAN. Okay, now go to the assign port for VLAN. Here we need to choose the new VLAN ID, the 101 we just create. And I'm going to pick some of the port, put some of the port like the port 1 to port 4 to our new VLAN. Okay, click port 1. And once I click, you can see the, the information telling us the, the first port is being as saved to the VLAN 101. Okay, now we just go for the second port. And let's move fast, go for the first port and also the four port. From here we got the result. I think you may already notice we lose the video, right? There's no video on the screen. Now it's bit. Why? Like what we said before, after we create the VLAN, the switch will add the tick, I mean the room number, here is 101, to all the device connecting to this, this port. But the, port, the last port, this is the 24 port, belong to this recorder. It's not being saved to the, it's not being assigned a VLAN. I mean, this VLAN, this port is not bring to the room number 101. So it's not work. So there are two solutions. One is we can plus this cable to one of this port, port one to what, port, port four, and it will work. And the other solution is we can bring the 24 port to our new VLAN. Okay, let's just do the, Another way is bring the 24 port to our new VLAN. Okay, still need to find the room 101. 
And now let's move to the 24th and click apply. Let's see. Let's just wait for a while. And we're supposed to see the live video. Yes, now we're seeing the live video. Right? That's the way to keep all the camera system within the same room. So we can use other port for the IP camera, or for, sorry, for access point, or VIP phone. Okay, this is the simple way. This is the L2 Plus manager PoE switch. It has the routing function. So we not only can use the VLAN to separate the camera system from the existing network, we also can set the IP address for each of these VLANs. This is the setup we have now. We're using the VLAN 101 for all the cameras and the recorder, right? And now we're using the default VLAN for the Wi-Fi, PC, and VOIP phone. One thing is we also can assign the IP address like the 192.168.101 dot and for all the cameras and the recorder. So in this case, when we see the IP address coming from the 101, we know they belong to the camera systems. And the rest will be, be belong to the like the VIP phone access point. Okay, now let's just move back to the web browser and configure the IP address for the VLAN 101. From here, we can see the VLAN interface configuration. Before we add the IP address to the VLAN 101, we need to create the interface. I mean, we need to get the interface for VLAN 101. And here we can choose the VO 101, VLAN 101. And uh, we apply at now the VLAN 101 interface is ready. The second thing is we can add the IP address to the VLAN 101. Okay, we choose the VLAN 101. And now we are going to add the IP address at 192.168.1.1. And here we can add a master, master address 255.255.255.1. Okay, click Applied. Now we are seeing the VLAN 101 coming with the different IP address from the default VLAN. The last thing, don't forget, just click Save Exit. Otherwise, everything will lost if you don't save. And we need, we can log in again. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.